Water Rocket Recovery System Quiz. What could possibly be better than a $4.30 servo parachute recovery controller? U.S. Water Rockets presents Servocron 2, the $4.30 dual servo parachute recovery controller. The Servocron 2 consists of an MSP430 launch pad board connected to dual servos, Servo A and Servo B. Servo A is associated with the red LED and Servo B with the green LED. There is also a launch detect trigger switch, the mode and reset buttons, and a battery providing 3.7 to 10 volts. The two positions for each servo are set by holding the mode button in while powering up. The red LED lights to show that servo A is being set. The home position is set first by tapping the mode button until the desired spot is reached. Then, the mode button is held in for one second to save the home position. The deploy position of servo A is now set in the same way. The green LED illuminates next to show that servo B is being set. The home position is set first, followed by the deploy position, using the same mode button tapping to move, then holding to save technique. Both servos will move to the home position when the position configuration is complete. The LEDs will now display a one second flash count of their timer delay settings. Red blinking for servo A and green blinking for servo B. Holding in the mode button and tapping the reset button will allow you to configure the two delay times for the servos. For example, if we wanted to set a servo A delay time of 5.5 seconds and a servo B delay of about 10.5 seconds, we hold in mode, tap reset, and then count off 5.5 seconds. We then release the mode button, setting the time for servo A. We now wait until 10.5 seconds has elapsed and we tap the mode button to set the time for servo B. The LEDs will blink at a one second interval to help you count an accurate time while setting the delays. Even without a stopwatch, we can set a reasonably accurate time. Like the original Servocron, pressing the mode button while the system is waiting to trigger will move both servos into the deploy position and back to home when you release the button. This unique feature allows you to design deploy systems which are armed or positive locked by the movement of the servos. The only thing remaining to do is launch. Any change of state of the launch detect switch, which can be normally open or normally closed contacts, will trigger the timers. The timers will count down to their configured delay times and then activate the servos. That's all you need to know to configure the US Water Rocket Servocron 2, the dual servo recovery system at a Tomy timer price. For the complete Servocron 2 instructions and firmware download, go to waterrockets.multiply.com. To ask questions or request features for Servocron or Servocron 2, or just to hang out with the largest community of water rocket enthusiasts, go to waterrocketforum.com. Thanks for watching.